One of the biggest issues from youth sports all the way up to professional sports is the stride angle. So we have kids come in that use the center mound that are flying way open. We have kids that are really right down the line towards home plate, as well as players that tend to step across their body. Now, this has a lot to do with their momentum and where they're taking their body towards home plate. Uh, we're gonna dig in a little bit deeper on the things that cause us to open up such like this, possibly stay online better, and also things that take us the other way. So first we're gonna go over the close stride. Um, one of the biggest things that hurt players on the mound when, it, when we talk about closing off their stride is it's a lot of wasted energy that's being taken a different place other than home plate. Okay, so a lot of reason why you see kids start to stride across their body is due to this back foot right here and where they're distributing their weight. So right here, I have good weight distribution. Um, I'm, I have center of gravity right over my back foot. I'm good to go. If we go a little bit further, stop. Okay, so this little red dot simulates the heel of where I started at. Once we land, now this heat sensor right here, or this pressure point, is where my foot ends up landing. Um, a little bit further. Good. Okay, so the sensor mount, these are, this is what I love about it. When we talk about stride angle, when I threw that pitch, I felt like I was striding right towards home plate. Um, if somebody was catching me, it would be very difficult for them to pick up on if I was striding across my body, if I was striding away from my body, or if I was down line. If I take a look down here, I can see that I was 16 degrees off my center point towards home plate. So initially, how I look at that is, that's 16 degrees that I'm going in a different direction and I'm taking my energy elsewhere other than home plate. Now, if we watch this video right here, you can see after I throw that pitch, my body really starts to spin out a little bit. And now what that's telling me is, my upper half of my body still wants to go towards home plate. However, my lower half has taken it elsewhere. Therefore, now my upper half is trying to correct the mistake that I made as I was throwing the pitch. So close 16 degrees is a lot higher of a number than you wanna be at. Okay, after going over a closed direction towards home plate, now we're gonna talk about opening up towards home. Um, one of the biggest things that I like to explain to kids when we talk about opening up, you can stop it right there, is stepping in the bucket. So I like to try to simulate things as if they were hitting because as you grow up, everybody's a hitter before they're a pitcher. Um, opening up essentially is your hip is flying w wide open before you even have a chance for your strike foot to hit. Um, same thing as striding closed, we're now taking direction elsewhere other than home plate. Um, our back leg, as you can see right here, is my power point. This is where I'm getting all of my power from. If I begin to spin off down the mound, I am not really directing all that power from that back knee straight towards home plate. If you go a little bit further, you can see my hip is starting to fly wide open before I even land. So what that's telling me is all that power that I had on that back leg is now wasted before my foot even strikes. As we can see, we're open nine degrees. If we go a little bit further to look at the lines, that line is now on a down angle. So that's telling me that instead of being straight on or even being closed, which although closed isn't good, it still has its benefits of helping you keep your hips closed. When I'm open up, I don't have that benefit of keeping my hips closed anymore. I'm relying solely on my upper half to throw that baseball. Now, if we continue, you can see my body doesn't quite spin out as hard as it did when I was stepping across my body. The reason being is because that spin out came as I was going down the mound, opposed to after I landed. Therefore, we're not getting all of that whip and that power through our hips as we were when we were stepping closed from our body. After going over a closed stride as well as an open stride, now we're gonna look at a straightforward stride towards home plate. Um, if you go a little bit further into this video, you can see just like when I was closed, I'm still stable over my back leg. Now, stop it right there. I do a lot better job of directing my hip right here towards home plate. Therefore, after talking about opening up, that hip remains closed as we go down the mound. Continue a little bit. So now I'm reaching out I'm getting ready for my strike foot to hit and that hip is still closed. So now I land 
that hip has the chance to fire on time like it's supposed to, opposed to not firing at all when I was closed, firing too early when I was open, but now firing just on the right time as my foot strike lands. Now, when we talked about closing off, we, we touched on how I spun out at the end because my upper half still wanted to go towards home plate. As my stride was better, I still completely get around that pitch, but I'm a lot more stable on this foot right here. Um, looking at video, it could be a little tough to see how stable you are, which is what's great about this part right here. When that foot lands, that sensor stays lit up in all those colors as if when I landed. That red line is a lot straighter towards home plate. If we go back to right there, a little bit further, yep. That, that red line, that's telling me that all of that power from that back leg that we were talking about, that power from those hips coming through are all firing at the right time and in the best optimal direction towards home plate so that I could use all of that strength from my backside.